This video is sponsored by Simply Safe. There's no safe like Simply Safe. What if I told you this ant was not only more venomous than a funnel web spider, but had also killed more people? The bulldog ants of Australia push insect biology to the next level, and their deadly sting is only the tip of the iceberg. In a land where deadly snakes and spiders seem to lurk around every corner, it's actually the ants that you need to worry about. The wind whistles through the leaves of the eucalyptus forest in southeastern Australia. This peaceful place, where koalas and kangaroos graze, is also a hunting ground. On the forest floor, rustling through the leaf litter, is a large, conspicuous ant. It's armed with serrated jaws and one of the most potent toxins in the insect world, the bulldog ant. So they're already onto me, but right underneath this boulder, big nests of bulldog ants. Look at the crazy colors on these guys. Bright red with that black tip. That is not giving them any camouflage out here. That is 100% warning coloration because these guys are crazy venomous. And look at that. Very aware. Very aware ants. They're already sounding the alarm, getting ready to defend their nest. These are a very impressive hymenopteran right here. The biggest problem with these ants is because they have these kind of inconspicuous nests, they can turn up in people's backyards and stuff. And not only are these ants extremely toxic, but some components of their venom, for whatever reason, there's a higher likelihood that you'll have an allergic reaction. These types of ants actually have killed quite a few people and are, in no exaggeration, the deadliest insect in all of Australia. I'm studying these insects to understand what makes them the most dangerous ant in the world. And to do that, I need local help. This is Callum, a macro photographer from the area who specializes in the ants of southeastern Australia. I've always sort of had an interest in Mimesia specifically. When I was younger, just the size and the, just the huge mandibles, really. Um, but then as I got older, started studying them a bit more, got more of an understanding about them, just made them even more cooler. These ants actually look insane. Off the bat, you can already see they're massive. These things are not your typical tiny little garden variety ant. They have these huge serrated jaws. They almost look fake, but rest assured, they can give you one heck of a bite. And what makes them really odd among ants is actually the size of their eyes. And it's no exaggeration to say that this is the most venomous insect in all of Australia. It's not just something that I say for, for clicks and views. You know, scientists actually have methods that they use to measure how venomous something is based on that venom's lethal dose. How much of the venom it takes to kill something. And the venom of the bulldog ant comes to about 0.18. That's even more toxic by weight than the Sydney funnel web spider, which everyone raves about being so dangerous. It's a large ant with a very potent venom, so it starts to seem a little bit less crazy that these insects have killed so many people. But it's not even their venom that makes them so dangerous. The clue actually lies a little bit in their appearance. The story of the bulldog ant is deeper than their potent venom. To understand why, we have to travel to the other side of the planet, to the southwestern United States. In these subtropical deserts lurks a secret that will clue us in on the deadly nature of Australian Mermesia. What if I told you that just inches from me right now is an animal that might be more lethal than a cobra? Would you believe me? You're probably like, Spencer, there's no snake or spider hanging around. No, but right here, I have a colony of ants. Most ants are actually venomous, but what I have right here are Maricopa harvester ants. Now, harvester ants are these larger, kind of reddish ants that are found across the entirety of the Southern US. And here in Arizona, these are quite, quite special. On the LD50 scale, the venom of these insects is more toxic than any other insect in the world. This right here is the world's most venomous insect, and I'm just inches from it. The nice thing about harvester ants, they're not like fire ants. They're not incredibly aggressive. They pretty much just mill about doing their thing, mostly minding their own business. And they get their name the harvester ant because they'll actually create these circles where they clear out all the vegetation. And you can actually watch them here. They're carrying different pieces of vegetation and stuff back to the nest, taking it down to their brood many, many feet below the surface of the desert. Just like the bulldog ant is the most venomous insect in Australia, the Maricopa harvester ant is the most venomous insect, not just in the US, but the entire world. Based on that very same LD50 scale, the Maricopa harvester ant comes in at 0.12. 
but you're probably thinking, okay, Spencer, that, that number is smaller than the number you gave me for the bulldog ant. Shouldn't the bulldog ant be more venomous? And the thing is, when it comes to lethal doses, the smaller number is actually the more potent venom. Like I said, if it takes less venom to kill something, that venom is much more potent. But what's crazy about the harvester ant is they're entirely herbivorous. Normally we think of potent venoms being from things like snakes and spiders, which are carnivores, and they're using their venom to subdue their prey. But the harvester ant doesn't eat other animals. So why is its venom so potent? And the answer actually lies many feet under the ground, where these ants keep huge treasure troves of plant material, their food stores. In the deserts they call home, this cache of food is worth many times its weight in gold. Resources are scarce in the desert, and when you have thousands upon thousands of hungry mouths to feed, you want to make sure you have a steady access to those resources. The thing is, there's lots of other animals in the desert that would love to steal from them, most notably various rodents. The venom of the harvester ant has sort of evolved in an arms race with various species of rodent that would physically dig their way into their nest to steal their food. The ants that had a potent enough venom to kill or at least deter these rodents were able to better defend their food stores, reproduce faster, and proliferate across these desert environments. Over time, this led to the harvester ants getting more and more toxic and the rodents getting more and more resistant to those toxins until that toxin just got so incredibly powerful that the rodents could no longer compete. These ants have the world's most powerful insect venom for the sole purpose of defending their homes. Now as humans, we're not really competing with other animals for resources the same way that ants are. So we don't need to like viciously defend our food stores, but that doesn't mean that we don't have anything worth protecting. Whether it's our expensive electronics like flat screen TVs, something far more precious like our furry friends or even our peace of mind, our homes are filled with things we wanna keep safe. When Simply Safe reached out to sponsor this video, I actually thought it was kind of perfect. Where ants are defending their nests with various chemicals, from pheromones to venom, we have to compensate with technology. And my girlfriend and I have actually been using the Simply Safe security system for years. After you set up your base station, each device you add is almost like a different class of worker that's gonna stand watch over your most precious possessions so you can rest easy. Like the venomous stings of harvester ants, your system can send an alert to emergency services as a last resort to save your home from an intruder. You're probably thinking, okay, what good is an alarm system if it only goes off after someone's broken into my house? Well, this this is actually where we out-engineer the ants. Using AI-powered security cameras, Simply Safe's Active Guard alerts monitoring agents of suspicious individuals who can then call emergency police dispatch to prevent disaster before it strikes. The bad guys will definitely feel that sting. Simply Safe has been named best home security systems by US News and World Report for over five years now. And if you want to see why for yourself, you can save 50% off your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for a professional monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash mywildbackyard to customize yours. There's no safe like Simply Safe, except maybe ant venom. But powerful venom isn't the only defense these harvester ants are using. And in fact, I would say it might even be the least interesting of their defenses. Ants are part of the insect order Hymenoptera. It means the membrane winged insects. And while we don't usually see winged ants, the wings of things like bees and wasps, which are their closest evolutionary cousins, do have that very membranous look to them. What makes Hymenopterans so interesting is that many species within this order have what we call eusociality, which is where colonies of organisms function as one superorganism. It's more than these insects just being social. They actually physically depend on every single worker to survive. In a beehive or an ant colony, the workers don't reproduce at all. With ants in particular, they're all female and they're all asexual clones that the reproductive queen produces to basically do her bidding. Ants essentially breed clone armies, just like in Star Wars. It's easy to think that ants are just operating off of brute instinct because they're so small and so simple looking and we pretty much just see them as household pests, but they actually have an extremely complex language that they use to communicate with one another to solve complex problems for their colony. And this language manifests in the form of chemicals. Most subterranean ants like harvester ants are effectively blind. Their eyes really only see light and dark, but aren't really evolved to produce complex images. So they're pretty much navigating their world by vibration and scent. And because these animals need to communicate so intensely with each other, they've evolved glands that can produce scents 
that affect each other's behaviors. We call these chemicals pheromones. Trail pheromones are how they actually leave breadcrumbs that lead other ants to food when they find it. It's why you might find one ant in your kitchen one day and then you find a hundred of them the next day. That single ant left a trail of breadcrumbs back to the colony and all of the other ants followed it to see if they could figure out where the food source was that that one scout found. But these pheromones work in other ways too. When a larger animal is attacking the nest, one ant is not gonna be enough to defend their precious resources. By releasing alarm pheromones, they can recruit other nearby ants to them to assist in defense of the nest. But this creates a cascade because the ants that receive the alarm pheromone release more of the alarm pheromone. And before long, hundreds, if not thousands of ants are swarming towards the entrance of the nest to defend their home from an evil intruder. The harvester ants are more toxic than the bulldog ants and more plentiful, but you don't hear about people dying to these guys. Meanwhile, the bulldog ants have killed more people than the Sydney funnel web spider. Both of these ants are highly venomous, but side by side, we can see that toxic venom and being ants is about all they have in common. And the differences in their appearance are the biggest clues as to why Mermesia are so dangerous. You can even see already in this container, she's like piecing things together. I've never actually seen an ant move around like this. Typically, they're almost just following chemical trails. They don't seem to like react to things visually for the most part. They're just using those antennae and just kind of probing around. But these, these Mermesia ants, look at this. You can move around, they'll react to you, almost like an elapid snake or something. And she's actually probing this container I've got her in for weaknesses to see if she can break her way out. These bulldog ants actually show pretty decent signs of intelligence. One of the most prominent features of the bulldog ant is its eyes. Like I've said time and time on the channel, the appearances we see on animals in nature can give us clues about their biology. You see big eyes on something, it probably has pretty decent vision. And that is true for the bulldog ant. It actually has among the best vision of any insect. The bulldog ant can actually see you and knows what you are, and can actually see you from a decent distance away. For the most part though, the bulldog ant is actually a solo hunter. It's not using pheromones in the same way that harvester ants are using them, creating trails for other ants to follow. These ants are big enough, they can pretty much fend for themselves, and these guys will go miles from their nest to find food. And without the use of trail pheromones, they're able to find their way back. This is because they can memorize visual landmarks. This this insect is tiny. I mean, it's a big ant, but it's a tiny insect. And yet they have the ability to not just process images, but remember them and remember the order in which they saw them so they can visually navigate their way back to the nest. That requires something a bit more calculated than just brute instinct. The bulldog ant is intelligent. Near the nest, this is where it actually gets pretty interesting. Remember, they can see you, they know what you are, and while they might be solo hunters, they are very, very quick to defend their nest when you're right on top of them. They will not only defend their nest, they will actually come a decent ways away from their nest to make sure that you get the message. You know, I've heard of things like the Sydney funnel web being described as aggressive, that it'll chase you down and try to bite you. But if you're near a Mermesia nest, they might actually seek you out. Bulldog ants aren't using trail pheromones to recruit other ants on their foraging missions, but they do have alarm chemicals. When an intruder approaches their nest, just like the harvester ants do, they Will release alarm pheromones that will send other ants into a frenzy until the threat is cleared. And like the harvester ants, this signal will cascade throughout the nest until hundreds, if not thousands of these ants are swarming over the land to make sure the threat is neutralized. First time I got stung um, was about six years ago. Um, Jack was doing it for a video and <laughs> talked me into it. And it wasn't, I was freaking out a little bit, but it wasn't as bad as that's what I thought it was gonna be. Sort of like a hot needle a little bit, but it does go away quite quickly. It'll sort of pulsate and then tone down in intensity. So it was a raised bump around the ankle, goes away after a few minutes, but then it's sort of like a little bit itchy. The venom of the bulldog ant is a neurotoxin. Like many hymenoptera instincts, it's primarily adapted to produce immense pain. Not much work has been done on the actual mechanism of this venom, but it likely behaves in a similar way to like black widow venom overexciting your nerves to put you in immense amounts of pain. But that pain isn't actually what makes the bulldog ant sting so dangerous. We're not exactly sure why, but this ant's venom seems to elicit allergic reactions a lot more than other insect or other arthropod venoms. In parts of Australia, the rate at which allergic reactions occur to Marmesia stings 
is double the rate of allergic reactions to things like bee stings. Their venom is highly toxic, but as far as we can tell, the deaths to Mermesia stings have not been because the venom just overpowered your system. It's because you had an allergic reaction and your body shut down. And I'm not gonna trivialize anybody's death by saying that these ants aren't a big deal. These things can absolutely kill you. Just like snakes and spiders, it's like we almost mythologize animals if they've killed somebody in the past. But I guarantee you, way more people have died to cows than have ever died to a bulldog ant. The most important thing is to understand the animal you're working with. What are its capabilities? What are its behaviors? What does it actually do when it sees a person? Yeah, if you're standing right on top of their nest, they're gonna come out and sting you. But if you disturb the nest, they're not gonna pursue you more than a few feet past the entrance. I was literally laying on a rock on top of a Mermesia nest. And you can bet that many an ant came out to investigate me. But here's the thing, you can flick them off long before they bite or sting you. These ants are an important part of ecosystems throughout southeastern Australia. They serve as pollinators. They manage the populations of many herbivorous insects. And because they are large ants, they are a substantial food source for many other larger insects, birds, and mammals. And they were part of these ecosystems long before humans ever arrived on the Australian mainland. Their sting can absolutely be life-threatening. But if we respect these animals and learn to coexist with them, their sting never actually needs to be a real danger. At the end of the day, ant venom is almost entirely for defending the nest. The reason their stings are so painful is the same reason we have alarm systems and security cameras in our homes. But insect defenses aren't always so painful. Many instead opt to avoid detection entirely. For example, there is a cricket that has learned to hijack the chemical defenses of ant colonies to be able to silently steal their food stores. If you want to learn about that creature and many other insects that push disguises to the absolute limit, check out this video right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.